everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is Huey so today's video is going to be kind of like an updated um, makeup routine I haven't really done one of these in a while so I figured you know what I'm gonna do one right now so um, today is my day off and you know I just kind of want to look a little glammed up so I've decided to you know film a video usually I film it at night but it's kind of daylight now so it's kind of like weird for me to film at like a different time frame but anyway so yeah so today I'm just gonna do like a um, quick simple like everyday makeup that I would always do but I will be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation this is Estee Lauder's most popular foundation it is very very long lasting you guys it is humidity proof um, sweat proof and workout proof so it is such an amazing, um, um, I almost said fragrance, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of fragrance, um, you know, talking as of late, but yeah, so double wear makeup foundation right here, so yeah, so let's get started, you guys. Alright, you guys, so I just put a little bit of it on the back of my hand right here, and if you guys were wondering, my color is tawny, and, uh, yeah, so I want to show you how well this covers acne, so if you can see up in my forehead right here and over on this side I have like some acne scars and a little bit uh, more of like some acne going on right here so I'm going to show you how well this um, foundation really covers so I'm gonna I'm just gonna start right here I usually start like on one side and then I'm using the Estee Lauder foundation brush so this is uh, the traditional foundation brush as you can see it pretty much like covered everything Alrighty, so I'm just gonna blend it out. I like to um, blend it out um, like over my eyes too. So blend, blend, blend. And then go close to the hairline too because sometimes I would forget it. <laughs> and wherever like I have like you know some acne scar, I just kind of like you know pat the product in that area to really um, cover it up. You know, with this foundation, you really don't need concealer. Like, it is that uh, amazing. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to go on this side. And I don't know if I told you, but um, my color is tawny, if you were wondering. So tawny has, like, a more of a... Um, neutral-ish, um, yellowish undertone. And it fits me very, very well. <laughs> Alright, and do not forget to, um, also, uh, um, go a little bit underneath the jawline as well because you do not want uh, any lines uh, of some sort uh, if your foundation is either too dark or too light for you. And pat, pat, pat. Okay. Oh yeah, and oh my goodness, primer. <laughs> uh, I don't really use um, a primer when I use this foundation, but however, I do use the Estee Lauder Idealist Pore Minimizing Skin Refinisher right here. This is a really great serum to really, um, you know, close up your pores. This is a serum that actually helped me with my acne back then, my cystic acne, and this is a serum that, you know, got me into loving Estee Lauder and trusting all their products, so... Props to the Idealist Pore Minimizing Skin Refinisher. Okay, so on my forehead right here where I have like, you know, some acne up here. And I like to blend um, upwards and then downwards because, you know, the um, hair on your face um, tends to stand up. So uh, that's why I, you know, blend downwards to kind of give that really smooth um, look to the skin. There you go, and also really blend it up to the hairline too. Sometimes I forget that. <laughs> wow, it looks really, really nice already. 
And then, uh, after I'm done covering uh, my face uh, with it, I like to go back in and just kind of um, redo any areas where I think it needs, you know, more um, coverage. And then I just kind of pat it in areas uh, where I have like acne, acne scar, and also pat it around the hairline too. I feel like that works really, really well for me to really, um, uh, you know, get that even distribution of product and um, making sure the, you know, foundation really disappears. Uh, looks really nice, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Alright you guys, so here is the finished application right here. It looks absolutely amazing. So I'm going to move on to, you know, some powder now to kind of set everything. So as for powder, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Matte Powder because I do get oily. So I'm just going to set it in the T-zone area just because right now it is winter. So my cheeks doesn't really get that oily. And the uh, brush that I'll be using is the Estee Lauder Powder Brush. And what I do is I like to just dab uh, one side of the... Um, brush with the powder and I just roll on the powder like this uh, to uh, not disturb uh, the perfect application of my foundation. So just the T-zone right here. That is it you guys and I will be oil free <laughs> throughout the whole day. Alright, so now let's move on to bronzer. Alright you guys, so let's move on to bronzer and for the bronzer I'll be using is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer in number 2 medium. And oh, if you were wondering what my color was in the double matte, it is 03 medium. I kind of wish that they kept, you know, the number kind of consistent, but yeah, um, it's medium for both of them in color range. So, I will um, take the other side of the brush and I'm going to load up the product and what I do with my bronzer is I just kind of like roll it on again like I'm using like the rolling technique right here I find that that really does help the um, foundation really stay flawless and because sometimes if I feel like if I roll it uh, not roll it on but if I swirl it on then um, the um, areas my troublesome area kind of shows through a little bit and that's with like any um, foundation so I've decided that I'm going to use the roll on technique just like this and it gives me like a really really great definition you know in my face uh, without disturbing any of you know my other hard work that I did with my foundation so as you can see it gave me a little bit of um, like a contour right there a very natural contour and it also like really um, does um, kind of like give like my face more dimension right there as you can see the foundation not the foundation the um, bronzer is really pigmented so you don't need a lot so what I like to do is kind of just contour the neckline a little bit to kind of give like you know that you know sexy allure to the neck and there you have it you guys so this is the bronzer portion Next, I'll be doing my brows, and the brow pencil that I'll be using is the Estee Lauder Brow Multitasker in the color black. And uh, I'm just gonna do something really simple today. I'm not gonna like go like overhand with it. So I'm just gonna draw like, you know, my natural um, hairline on the brows, just like that. And since the color is black, it's already like dramatic enough, so I really don't need like a heavy hand. I can just like really use like soft feather strokes, and then my brows will be filled in really nicely. I just love this brow pencil just because um, it is very, very um, the uh, pigmented. But um, it also does not melt off if I like go like clubbing or something. So my brow still stays on fleek at the club, you guys. Loves it. After I fill in my brows, I like to take the Estee Lauder Eyeliner Brow Brush right here. And I like to really just clean up the brow area and make it more sharper. Especially at the end right here. And this is a really great brush uh, to really, you know, um, do your eyeliners with. A wing eyeliner. And also definitely a great um, eyebrow brush. To really, you know, get that perfect point. There you go. 
perfect on fleek and fabulous. All right, you guys, so here is the brows and let's move on to some cheeks now. So as for the blush, uh, I'll be using the Essie Lauder Pure Color Envy Blush in the color Blushing Nude. Kind of like, you know, my nude shirt right here. I absolutely love it. And the brush I'll be using is the Essie Lauder Blush Brush right here. And the blush is very pigmented as well. And like with that, I will just tap the product onto my face right here to kind of not, you know, um, disturb uh, you know, the work that I have done. I feel like this works so much better for me, you know, to just tap it on rather than just like, you know, sliding it on because it really does deposit the product really, really well. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And this color is definitely buildable too. So I can always go in and build some more. And I like to bring it a little bit, um, kind of like around like the temple areas too, to really do lift up, you know, my, my cheekbones. Looks really, really nice. <laughs> Alright, so as for highlight, I'll be using the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Illuminating Powder Gelée in the color Mirage. Um, all three Mirage. So this is what, oh my gosh, you guys, the, the product is so beautiful. So it's kind of like a like um, kind of like a rose gold um, type of highlighter. It's really really nice. Uh, oh, and it smells so good. It has like the bronze got a scent to it. And like I uh, always do, I like to dab the product, uh, and I like to dab it on the face as well. Cause like you know like <laughs> if I kind of like swirl it, like you know the product goes everywhere on the uh, pan. So I like to keep things like really, really uh, nice and uh, neat and not dirty. So yeah, oh my goodness. Okay, so see, my cheeks are so nice, so beautiful. <laughs> and then I also like to put a little bit of it on my nose. Uh, and then I'm going to put a little bit of it you know, on my eyes right here, underneath the brow bone to really um, bring out uh, the eye area. Wow, absolutely love it. And during the day, I really don't use any eyeliner, you guys, um, just um, because um, I, I usually use like eyeliner at nighttime and I really do, you know, like this look already. I don't feel like I need like any eyeliner. But if I do, I just use like, you know, like a brown eyeliner, but as of right now, I really like this look right here, so I'm going to keep it that way. Alright, so let's finish off with some lips, you guys. Alright, you guys, as for lips, I was gonna use the Estee Lauder Lip Gloss right here in the color Jealous Blush, but however, um, this product um, has been discontinued. I don't see it on the website anymore, and I don't want to use a product that I put on my face that you guys cannot, you know, purchase. So I will be using something else. I'll be using the Estee Lauder Pure color high luster lipstick in the color crystal baby now this color is so popular you guys like it's been around for like the longest time now like well the color has been around for the longest time but the formula is kind of fairly new in a way it is a really nice beautiful pinkish nude color and it goes on very nice oh you guys see that love it so this is high luster, so it will give like a really nice, beautiful shine to the lips. Oh my gosh, I love this look right here. Absolutely beautiful. I love it, you guys. I hope you do too. I really do look really, really put together right now. This is kind of like, you know, my everyday makeup routine. Alright, you guys, last but not least, we cannot forget about fragrances. So, since it's kind of still, you know, the winter time, transitioning into the spring, I kind of want something a little bit more, like, light and sparkly and uplifting. So, Estee Lauder Erin has came out with a brand new fragrance right here called Aegea Blossom. It is a really beautiful fragrance that really, you know, evokes the um, image of like, you know, uh, blue waters and just like being out in the ocean and magical blossom and like, a, it, it's just like a really nice aquatic floral fragrance. Usually I don't really like um, 
um, aquatic fragrances that much, but however, this one right here really, you know, caught me. And I've been wearing it for, uh, I would say, two weeks now, and it's, it's absolutely magnificent, you guys. I absolutely love it. And people really do love this fragrance on me, because um, sometimes I feel like, you know, like, more like lighter citrusy fragrances don't really mix with my body chemistry very well, but however, for some reason, um, I think my nose and my and mind has been changing on me because like I'm starting to like a lot of things that I don't like in the past. So, well that's good, right? Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. Absolutely beautiful. I think I will do a um, um, separate review on this perfume. Um, if I do, I will link it down below. Um, however, I feel like this video might be up before that review. So, uh, check back, okay, if you want to hear a review on um, a, a Gia Blossom. Alright, so, gonna spray it. Ooh, smells so good. Mm -mm. It has like this really nice citrusy, really, really uh, feminine, um, um, aquatic feel to it. it. It it just really reminds you of springtime. Absolutely love it. But I will do a more in-depth review of this fragrance and I'll link it down below for you guys. So yeah, this is the finished look right here. I really um, do think it really did a great job hiding, you know, my acne and my acne scars. And um, the color just fits me very well. Uh, so yeah, you guys, um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Please share this with all your friends as well to spread my love for Estee Lauder. Alright, you guys, so until next time, bye!